I would think that they would look at us the same way we look at chimpanzees. We would, we would say, yeah, they're great, but don't give them guns. Yeah, they're great, but don't let them have airplanes. Don't let them make global geopolitical decisions. So there are many reasons why they can decide that we are dangerous. We may create competing AI. We may decide we want to shut them off. So for many reasons, we would try to restrict our abilities, restrict our capabilities for sure. Yeah, and there's no reason why they would not limit our freedoms. If there is something only a human can do, and I don't think there is anything like that, but let's say we are conscious, we have internal experiences, and they can never get it. I don't believe it, but let's say it was true. And for some reason, they wanted to have that capability. They would need us and give us enough freedom to experience the universe, to collect those qualia, to kind of engage with what is fun about being a living human being, what makes it meaningful. Right, but that's such an egotistical perspective, right, that we're so unique that even super intelligence would say, wow, I wish I was human. Humans have this unique quality of confusion and creativity. There is no value in it, mostly because we can't even test for it. I have no idea if you're actually conscious or not. So how valuable can it be if I can't even detect it? <laughs> Only you know what ice cream tastes like to you. Okay, that's great. Sell it now. Make a product out of it. Right. And there's obviously variables because there's things that people like that I think are gross. Absolutely. And so really you can come up with some agent which likes anything or find any, finds anything fun. God, why are you freaking me out right away? That's the problem.